And of course, I'm recording this uh, for those people that are absent or join the class later. This is the second video is on the back side of the syllabus. And as you can see, we have 70% on assessments. So what are assessments? They're quizzes and tests. But we also have a uh, final exam, which is 12% of your total grade, and the midterm exam, which is 8%. The final exam will be right before Christmas break. Uh, midterm exam is in between here to Christmas break. Um, and there's also 10% other. So here's a fact, guys, very important. All of this, 90% of your grade, almost the entire grade is on some type of quiz or test, right? Because those are all quizzes and tests. Only 10% is on other, right? And what do I mean by other? Your notebooks and inside your notebooks, you should have homework. And we might also start doing Khan Academy um, obviously Edmodo participation I might do some activities on Edmodo and maybe a video project during the second semester so that's 10% of your grade so if you're not good at taking tests you might be stressed out right now because your entire grade 90% of it is based on test taking um, well just to ease your mind the majority of the questions on tests will come from the homework right I literally cut and paste on my computer uh, questions from the homework and create tests and create quizzes. So the homework I give you, I'm also going to have the answers on the back side of the homework so you could be checking your work as you go. And I'm also going to be explaining the homework and uploading the videos of me explaining the homework. So there's no excuses, guys. If you guys want to learn, you're going to, right? All you got to do is watch those videos and uh, you should be caught up to speed. Even if you don't really understand it in class, you still have that motto uh, to get a better understanding of it. But let's say you're still nervous about taking tests. Well, um, here's a couple of, of, of breaks that I give you guys, especially right now in the first nine weeks. A lot of us are transitioning into this Algebra 2. A lot of us are used to Algebra 1 or Geometry. Um, so your lowest score possible on any quiz or test on the first nine weeks, the first quarter, is a 50% F. <coughs> Yep, that's right. Even if you leave a test completely blank and you misspell your name, you still get a 50%, right? You don't get a 0%, you get a 50%. And that's on the first nine weeks only. Okay, now the second nine weeks, getting closer towards Christmas, the lowest grade possible is going to be a 40%, all right? Um, and the third nine weeks after Christmas, right, second semester, third nine weeks, your lowest grade possible is 30%, okay? So if you miss every single question, in February, right, every single question, you don't get a 0%, you'll get a 30%. But those last nine weeks of the entire year, that's going to be whatever grade you get, that's what, what it is. Like if you get every single question wrong, it's going to go in as a 0%, right? So it's kind of like gradual release. I don't want anybody to mess up their grades so bad right now that you have a 0% average and you can't bring that F back up to a C, right? So the lowest grade possible is a 50% first nine weeks, 40%, 30%, and so on and so on, right? You're welcome. Now, um, so what? A 50% is still an F. So like, let's say you get a horrible grade. It's a 50%. It's an F. You don't want an F. What could you do to improve your grade? There's extra credit, right? Now, the opportunity for extra credit is, is very, it's limited, right? So you get a test back. If you have an F on it, you do the corrections to that, to the ones you got wrong with an explanation on how to do it correctly. And you can do the corrections even with me or with somebody else, right? Um, as long as you have a written explanation and the correct work shown, and then you show it to me, I will boost your grade by 5%. That's half a letter grade. So if you got a D, a 60% D, it'll go up to a 65 if you do corrections, right? And this applies to any grade. So like, let's say you got a 95% a, a, right? You missed one question on a quiz. You got a 95% A. All you have to do is go back and correct that one question, and it'll go up to 100%. Right? So you get an extra 5% boost by doing corrections. Now, some of us are thinking, well, that's not going to help me. If I get a 50% and I do corrections, that's still a 55%. That's still enough. That's horrible. Okay. I will also let you retake any test. All right. Of course, you have to do corrections in order to retake it. Um, and I do want you to do it in a timely manner. What do I mean by that? Uh, try to retake whatever quiz or test you messed up on within one week. Everybody with me? Yeah. So um, the retakes can replace a previous score, but here's the caveat, here's the detail. 
the max score you could get on a retake is uh, 80%, but I want to get, put it in as a 79.9. It's still, it's a B minus, right? Um, so some of us are thinking, well, why, what if I retake it and I get an A plus? Why are you going to give me a B minus? Well, the truth is, in the past, students have taken the test the first time without even studying. They don't even care. They're like, ah, I'm going to take it. I don't care if I flunk because I'm going to retake it. So they kind of take it like a practice. And some students do study. So there has to be some type of separation, right? So I'm saying for those students that studied hard the first time and got an A, those are A students. Um, everybody else, if you got a, a C minus and you want a B minus, then yeah, retake it and it'll replace it to a B minus. But even if you re retake that C minus and you get an A plus, it's not going to go in as an A plus. The max score that it goes in as a retake is a 79.99, which is 80% B minus. Make sense? Let me pause it. Oh yeah, I skipped one right here. If you score better on any unit test, I'll go back and replace the lower quiz scores with that unit test, all right? So like, let's say we take the very first quiz this Friday on one section of chapter one. And let's say you get a, a, a C on it, yeah? But then next Friday when we take like the unit one test, the chapter one test, and you get an A on it, I'll just go back and change that C to an A. I'll just replace it for you. If you're doing better on the tests than the quizzes. So these are numerous, numerous, numerous opportunities that you have to maintain a passing grade. Um, what else? Final exam at the end of the semester, it's your final opportunity to bump up your grade. Yeah, it's only worth 12%. It's significant. But in addition to that, I'm willing to replace your lowest test score with the final exam, given that you get at least a 70% on the final. Okay. So let's say you messed up on one certain big test. You got an F on it and all your other grades are C's and B's and you could pull off a B plus on the final, I'll go back and change that F to a B plus of what you got on the final. All right, so I have my email right there if you need it. Um, phone number, this is my classroom phone number. You guys already have my remind to be able to text me and I hope you guys already signed it and had your parents sign it. And that's it on the back side of the syllabus.